Hey everyone, I'm Brock with PDQ. Welcome back to our Patch Tuesday. This is the first Patch Tuesday of 2024, and we've kind of got a good one. I mean, last year we kind of ended on a high note, not a whole lot of patching to be done, and it looks like most of the bad actors out there are still on vacation. So we've got another light month. So let's take a look at a few of the highlights. Total exploits this month, we've got 49 with two of those critical, but luckily we don't have any known that are already exploited and out in the wild. So let's take a look at some of the highlights. All right, our first critical patch of 2024 comes in with a 9.0 CVSS rating. This one is a security feature bypass that is attacking uh, Kerberos. Luckily, this would have to be kind of an adjacent attack vector, so a person would have to be on your network already and kind of performing a man-in-the-middle attack to send a malicious Kerberos message to a targeted device. All right, the second critical patch we're going to take a look at for this month is CVE 2024-20700. And this is a remote code execution targeting Hyper-V, but the score is only a 7.5. And to take advantage of this, it's uh, an adjacent attack vector. So again, they would have to be on the physical or logical network there with you. Luckily for us, the attack vector, I mean, the attack complexity is pretty high and it relies on some conditions that are outside the attacker's control. All right, the last CVE I wanna take a look at is CVE 2024-0057. This one's actually got a pretty high score of a 9.1, and that's because it's targeting net.net framework, Visual Studio Code, and anything that kind of talk, targets a software library is automatically gonna be given a higher score. Even though it's not listed as critical, it's rated as important. With this one, the it does have a network attack vector and the complexity is low. So I would definitely patch this one sooner rather than later. But luckily, while this one does have a proof of concept out there, it's not out in the wild yet. So nobody's seen it being taken advantage of. So that's it for our highlights or lowlights of 2024. Not a bad month overall. If you need help with your patching, your patch management, and you've got remote computers you're dealing with, take a look at PDQ Connect. It can definitely help if you're dealing with on-prem devices. PDQ Deploy and Inventory can get you automated so you don't even have to worry about Patch Tuesday. It'll just take care of itself. All right. With PDQ, I'm Brock.